Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to solve the packet tracer activity 1.2.1 from CCMP Encore version 8 course. And as you can see here, I have this packet tracer file, and here I have also the uh, instructions in a document format. You will find both of them in the description box. And as you can see here, this is the instruction which is started with the packet tracer activity here. So what I need here, all the instructions can be obtained from here. So I'm going to use this one because I go, I'm going to copy paste from the IP addresses. What I need from this here, um, the BT activity is to check my completion or to check my progressing here. So what I'm going to do is just to put it here. Then I just click here so I can watch my completion. Okay, so what is the name of this lab? It's a packet tracer inter VLAN routing challenge address table. And here we are going to show that we are able to implement inter VLAN routing by including, of course, configuring IP addresses, VLANs, trunking, and sub interfaces. Okay, so we have here the address table of the router, and we have here a switch, we, and here we have the number uh, VLAN numbers, and here we have the names of these VLANs, and of course we have here the interfaces um, that we should assign in the, with each VLAN. What we are going uh, to also uh, emphasize here that these ports should be assigned to each VLAN here accordingly, as you will see very soon. Okay, so let's get started and now let's get with router 1 and here enable configure terminal and then IB interface we need interface gigabit 00, zero. And then we need IP address we will go to it from here and of course the subnet max. And then push it down. Of course, then we move forward to another interface, which is interface gigabit zero one. Since this is like sub interfaces here, so I need to type here interface gigabit ethernet of course zero one, and then no shut down. And then I'm going to assign sub interfaces for each or the IP address for each sub interface. Okay, so let's start from interface gigabit ethernet 01.10. Okay, and since here there is a dot, so as you can see here, there is a dot, so encapsulation, and then here is a dot, so you type just dot, and then press tab button from your keyboard, then you will be auto completion with one queue, and then you give the number of this sub interface, which is 10. Okay, and then you assign, you assign the IP address to it. With the subnet mask. Here you don't need to type no shut down because I already did this at the beginning when I entered the interface gigabit, this gigabit 01. Okay, so we have uh, done with get 0, 10, so we need to continue with 20. Here I need 20, and then I assign an IP address, which is here 20. The same with 30. And then encapsulation 30 and then the IP address which is here the same as with 30. Then I need 88 the encapsulation of course 88 and here we need to be careful because as you can see here 88 is native and it is on gigabit ethernet 01 on the switch, so here I should assign it like 88 and then I should type native. 
okay so here you need to be careful with this because this is native how can I, I tell that because as you can see here is 88 and this is 88 native so this is the native one okay so let's move forward please one more time be careful with this native this is the connection between the switch and the router <coughs> however now I will do the last one which is 99 and here of course the encapsulation and then the IP address Then exit and exit and let's see running configuration. This is okay. Twenty is also okay. Thirty is also okay. Eighty-eight is not okay because, as you can see here, there is no IP address. So we should put an IP address. 99 is okay. So here we have to assign IP. We forget to do this to assign the IP address here. No problem. Configure terminal interface 88 and then IP address here 88. Meanwhile, I'm going to check my completion now since it's 51. I should it should be increased and it's increased so I'm in a good way so here I click end and exit okay I have done with router 1 let's move now forward and let's do or configure switch 1 okay so what we need with switch 1 here first we are going to assign an IP address to this switch as you already know, switch is a layer 2 device, so we don't need to assign an IP address to them. But we only need an, a virtual interface or virtual IP. Um, we need to assign, I mean, an IP address to this device to be able to access the, this device remotely. And we can do this by assigning interface or virtual interface to it. So first, let's configure this virtual interface so enable configure terminal and here interface vlan 99 okay and then we need to assign ip address to it this is the first step and of course We need to do one more step, which is assigning a default gateway and to enter a default gateway here. Of course, knock it down. It. And then we should assign a default gateway, which is the IP address of this gigabit Ethernet 099, which is this one. And here, 10. As you can see here, 9910991. So you can know from here that this is the uh, IP address of the default gateway, which is the IP address of the interface of the router. Okay, so to set the default gateway, so IP default gateway, and then you give the IP address here. And meanwhile, check your progressing, as you can see here. Now we have done with the IP address of the VLAN 99 and also we have done with the default gateway. Okay, what we need next, we need to create VLANs in the switch. Okay, so we can do this simply by VLAN 10. Then the name, we can copy paste it from here. And be careful because it is case sensitive. So first we need to assign VLANs and then we need to assign the interfaces for each VLAN. 
Okay, so next we have VLAN 20. And then name students. And then we have VLAN 30. With the name Then we have VLAN 88 VLAN 99 with the name management. Okay, so we created the VLANs now. We are going to assign the interfaces to each VLAN. You also need to be careful here because the interfaces for VLAN 10, 20, 30 should be in access mode. For VLAN 88 should be in a trunk and it should be native. And VLAN 99 is only a management VLAN which is connected to this one here. So we don't need to assign any for any port or interface to this VLAN. Okay, so let's start with this VLAN like 10, which is which has interfaces from range F011 till 17. So let's do this interface range F01 or 11 till 17. Of course, there is no shutdown. And then we assign them like access mode. So switch mode access. Then switch port X is VLAN, of course, 10. That's all. So, this is all about assigning ports to the VLAN. First, you assign the ports, and then you made it access mode, and then you assign it to the, like, um, to the VLAN uh, that is matched to it. Okay, so let's repeat the same process, but with range 18. 24 and this is also access mode and here the VLAN is 20 okay so repeat the same process with VLAN 30 here we have interfaces from 06 to 10 again access mode and here 30 Okay, but we need more. We need now to set the native VLAN, which is in port 88. And to do this, of course, we need again interface gigabit Ethernet 01. As you can see here, the interface inter like gigabit Ethernet 01. And what we need to do here, switch port native of course VLAN and here we add need to assign 88 why because it's given here gigabit Ethernet 01 and it's a native so and it should be trunk because it's a native so switch port now we don't have access mode access we have the trunk port okay and then VLAN the number of the VLAN which is 88 Okay, what we need to do more, so we don't need to assign anything here because there is this VLAN 99 is like a virtual interface, which is this one here. Okay, what we need to do more, which also here written that we should shut down all the interfaces that is not used. And this is for security um, purpose. So what we have here now from 11 to 17 is used from 18 to 24 is also used from 6 till 10 is also used 0 1 is also used so what we have we have from 1 till 5 and we have gigabit ethernet 0 2 we should make them or we should turn them off and of course again we need to select the range from 1 to 5 and gigabit Ethernet 02 
this should be shut down. Then exit, and as you can see here, my completion 100. So we have done with them. Okay, so this is all for this task. Thank you, and I recommend you to do this task by yourself. And I will see you in the next video.